Seattle City Council is once again looking at trimming millions from the police department budget. But tonight, Seattle's chief and business leaders are pushing back. King 5's Chris Daniels explains what this latest move is all about. Good evening. This is another public policy discussion that is playing out in the Zoom world of city politics. But according to Seattle Police, it has real impacts on response times. Away from public view, in a remote environment, Seattle's deputy mayor told a personal story. Black people were enslaved for over 400 years, and we cannot be expected to get better in a year or two, as there is a lot of repair needed. A powerful soliloquy, in a certain respect, muted by the COVID circumstances. When I call the police for help, and I'm a black woman, I have an expectation that someone will come to assist me in a reasonable amount of time. Tiffany Washington this says she right. believes SPD call times for even serious violent crime are trending in the wrong direction. SPD is in a staffing crisis. Is that a is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I recognize that the police department um, has staffing challenges. And I Council member Lisa again, Herbold, well, who chairs the Public uh, Safety Committee, are... is continuing to advance a measure which would trim another $5.4 million from the police budget. I believe that the council actually approved a $5.4 million increase in the police department's budget late last year in recognition that they had had overspent last year. Wasn't there an argument, though, that the reason why they needed that money last year was because of the overtime associated with all of the marches and protests in Seattle? That, that is correct. Those officers left because Council Member Herbold and a majority of her colleagues last summer told them they were going to cut their jobs. They told them that we're going to reduce the department by 50%. So it's entirely disingenuous to say that your actions as a council member, your words, what you said doesn't matter and doesn't have an impact on safety in this community and public policy. Downtown There's Seattle Association President now. John Scholes yes. points to a need for enforcement, citing blatant street level robberies of stores like the one seen here. How do you think staffing is right now in the, the Seattle Police Department? It's, it's terrible. It's the worst it's been in more than a decade. I think it's, you know, municipal malpractice the way that our city council has uh, addressed public safety over these last six months. Herbold told me today that despite the calls last summer to defund the police by as much as 50 percent, it is, in her words, quote, clearly not achievable. The council will discuss this cost cutting measure again a week from tomorrow. But that is the story for now in Seattle. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.